D. Snyder, ladies and gentlemen, he wants to rock, and he's not gonna take it. Hmm? Now, when I was researching information for my Alice Cooper Exposed series, parts one, two, and three, I was surprised to find not only the same symbolism connected to D. Snyder, but somehow D. Snyder is still relevant in the world of rock and roll and heavy metal at the age of 66, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Twisted Sister had the equivalent of 15 minutes of fame back in the 80s. I mean, seriously, the curtains should have lowered on this guy's public influencing role a long time ago. So what makes an overaged headbanger relevant in a genre of music that is clearly dead? Well, it definitely helps to be, number one, a Satanist, uh, number two, a Freemason. You have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, there are no heroes in this world. Right? D. Snyder is part of the same club of entertainers who sold their soul for fame and fortune decades ago. And because of that, he's allowed to reap the benefits of selling out to Satan long into what should have been his retirement years. Ladies and gentlemen... And no self-respecting, God-fearing Christian should ever be jealous or envious of the satanic people. So let's take a look at a satanist hidden in plain sight. And keep in mind, it's like I've always said on this channel, you have two choices in life. You have our Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ, or you have Satan through man. That's it. No matter what else you choose, if it isn't God through Jesus, you have pledged your allegiance to Satan. And you don't even have to believe it at that point, because your choice has been made. Right? Now, let's play the Christian card. Right? Just like D's good buddy Alice, right? which is a smooth move, and it works on people who follow Jesus Christ. Right? That kind of programming absolutely works, because... Like I said in my Alice Cooper series, if this rock and roll circus is cool with Jesus, well, then it must be cool for us too, right? But watch this. Let's look at the very basic history of D. Snyder. I like how here it says, religion believes in God, question mark, other. Let's look at this. I was born and raised a Christian. Boom. There you go. I sang in the church choir until I was 19 years old. I still adhere to those Christian beliefs, but not in the Son of God superior being way. Now check this out. Christ to me was like Martin Luther King and Gandhi and all the other great philosophical people. I believe there's more out there, so on and so forth. Just stop. Right? Because that, ladies and gentlemen, is a denouncement of Jesus Christ. Plain and simple. Now, the rest of what he says here is nothing more than he says it himself. Philosophical. Right? Just a bunch of New Age nonsense. That's all it is. And so from there, we have to jump immediately to Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 and 33. Everyone who acknowledges me in public here on earth... I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But everyone who denies me here on earth, I will also deny before my Father in heaven. Boom. The rest of what D. Snyder says, right? just a bunch of nonsense. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Right? D. has clearly made his choice. It is not Jesus Christ. It, it, ladies and gentlemen, this is fun for me to do exposing these Satanists for what they are, especially these old dudes, right? These heavy metal icons from days gone by, right? And there are plenty of good channels out there exposing today's pop music culture, right? But somebody has to take on these old dudes, right? These rock heroes, because these old heavy metal bands, they're still around for a reason, ladies and gentlemen to influence people my age 
who don't listen to bubblegum pop music in hopes of leading people away from Jesus Christ. Right, and, and believe me, I wish I had listened to all of the people who tried to warn me about heavy metal being the devil's music when I was growing up, right? But let's stick with Mr. Snyder and some signs and symbols. The devil horns, right? And the deception here, ladies and gentlemen, is telling people that this means rock on, that it's harmless, right? This is a sign for Satan, plain and simple. And if you don't believe Anton LaFay, the founder of the Satanic Church, author of the Satanic Bible, then you truly are asleep and there may never be an awakening for you. Hmm? There isn't enough bandwidth on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, to show you all the pictures of D expressing his heartfelt devotion to his Lord and Master hmm? over and over and over again. Hmm? And this leads into, once again, the X symbol. Right? Osiris risen. Fallen angel worship. Right? Which is why he denounced Jesus Christ in public in the first place, as his personal Lord and Savior. Right? Now, this is no different than Alice Cooper and the hero of the entire music industry, Aleister Crowley. And once again, the meaning of the X symbol and you can read this at your leisure, right? But right there in the middle, the Illuminist slash Masonic meaning of the X is simply this. It is the sign of Osiris, the great Egyptian sun god. Right? And we can put this on the screen as well. Now you can pause. You can read this at your leisure. Right? But this is what they worship, ladies and gentlemen. Osiris. A fallen angel doomed to failure just like the rest of the fallen angels because of his lord and master, the prince of lies, Satan himself. Hmm? And D is more than happy to give his soul for the cause. Hmm? Even back in the day with Twisted Sister. Twisted Sister, come out and play. Right. Do you see it now that you know? And... Take a look at this. Wait for it. Right? And David Bowie. Do you see it? Hmm? That's the same thing, ladies and gentlemen. Right? They all worship the same fallen angel. And the entertainment industry has been conditioning the public to accept the Antichrist for decades. Just like our Heavenly Father conditioned the entire world for the arrival of his son throughout the entire Old Testament. Hmm? Do you see how evil this world is yet, ladies and gentlemen? And I'll get to the meaning of the TS symbol in a moment as well. But since D can't stop throwing up the devil horns, let me show you this. His good buddy, Donald Trump. Hmm? Yes, they're in the same club, ladies and gentlemen. They're all in the same club. The pentagram right between them. And you can read this at your leisure. Aleister Crowley will always show his ugly face when talking about the occult and Satanism, ladies and gentlemen. And this, right? Very telling. More Masonic symbolism. Right? I like to say Freemasonic. It just feels good sometimes. We'll, we'll go with Masonic, right? It leads to Donald Trump throwing up the devil horns, just like his good buddy T, right? clearly paying respect to his lord and master. And then there's this, more Masonic symbolism, right? Just like Alice Cooper. And then back to Dee's pal Donald. See how they always let you know. Right? They all let you know, all of them. Right? Which leads back to Dee doing the same thing on the cover of his third solo album titled, We Are The Ones. That's an interesting title, considering we're talking about Freemasonry and symbolism. The sign of the pyramid. The all-seeing eye ever-present. Not only that, but the symbol is also linked to the diamond. Power, wealth, control. But diamond, ladies and gentlemen, 
equals 33 in full reduction in gematria. 33 being the highest degree in the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, but more importantly, right, cut through the middleman, ladies and gentlemen. Right? 33 represents a third or 33% of all of the angels who fell from heaven, which is what Freemasonry is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Right? The hidden knowledge of the fallen angels. Not only that, but Snyder is a 33 name. Hmm? Which is why this album cover represents the occult of Masonic duality. Right? And do you see the pentagram hidden within the DS? And signs and symbols can tell an amazing story, ladies and gentlemen. It feels pretty good to be awake. Right? Now that was in 2016. Let's look at an album that was released in 2018. His newest solo album at this point. For the Love of Metal. I'll be honest, I didn't even know this album existed, so I have no opinion on its content. The pentagram, within the DS again, right? Snyder equals 33. Check out the devil horns while he's being pulled down into hell. And notice that he is freely accepting his fate because he chose this for his destiny decades ago. And the lightning represents Satan's fall in Luke 10.18. And over there on the right, the tornado. Tornado also equals 33 in full reduction. So again, with Snyder and Tornado right on the front of this album cover, once again we have the occult of Masonic duality. Now let's not forget the eagle. Everything that the eagle symbolizes, it also, within the occult, represents the all-seeing eye. Clever marketing, ladies and gentlemen. The all-seeing eye right over D. Snyder, worshipping Satan. And unless you're awake, you would never see this for what it truly is unless somebody tells you. And speaking of signs and symbols, right? Check out one of his motorcycles. New York Jets, exactly as it looks, NY Jets equals 33 in reverse full reduction. Right, that's by design, ladies and gentlemen, complete with the devil horns and the satanic colors of black and red. Hmm? Just like these two picks. Hmm? Satanic black and red, Masonic black and white, as above, so below. Hmm? More Freemasonic posing, just like Alice. Oh, the middle finger, ladies and gentlemen, which represents Saturn. You can pause, you can read this at your leisure. Even more Masonic posing with the black and white. Two more devil horns with Fox in the background. Again, by design, Fox equals 666. And a 66 year old man on a motorcycle that says demon very clever d-e-e-m-o-n oh yeah i mean he's laughing in your face because most people think it's cool and they just don't get it it's a good time for good old d the tongue sticking out represents goddess Kali, the goddess of death And again, with the diamond symbol, combined with the devil horns and the black and white colors of Freemasonic duality. I honestly don't know what more you need to see at this point, ladies and gentlemen, to understand that this guy is a straight up Satanist. But I said I would tell you also about the meaning of the TS symbol. I saved the 33 and 666 connection for last. Check this out. Now, TS equals 36 in reverse primes. 36 is a very important number in the occult, very important in Satanism. The sum of all numbers from 1 to 36, meaning 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, all the way through 36, equals 666. And this is something that our Heavenly Father told us to do 
right? calculate the number of the beast. And this is why the satanic cipher begins with A being 36, ladies and gentlemen, because 36 is 666. It's very clever. And that is how manipulative Satan can be. He's very good at this. Right? It's a game he has been playing for time immemorial, ladies and gentlemen. Right? And it's about time we learn how to beat him at his own game. Right? There really isn't anything left to say, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Except for this quick bit of information. Right? This is my twisted sister ticket stub. Right? From back in the day, January 10th, apparently, 1986. Right? The Cumberland County Civic Center in Portland, Maine. I have no pictures of that night. Quick story. I wasn't allowed to go to concerts at this point. Not by myself, no way. And I'm only 15 years old at this point in time. There was no way my parents were letting me go to see a Twisted Sister concert by myself. I'm an only child. They both bought tickets. They waited, like, out in the, the lobby area, right? And as soon as I got in the door, I bolted for the floor. Right? I have no pictures from that night. I have one shirt as a souvenir. And when I wore this to school the next day, oh, it was a glorious moment. But see, just like my Alice Cooper videos, that's the programming. That's how they get you, right? And I'm 50 years old at this point. Right? And I could keep defending this guy as if he were an actual hero. Right? It would be nothing more than idol worship. Right? But I can't because I can see this satanic nonsense for what it truly is now. People will be so fast to jump in and say, oh, but it's about the music. It's about his music. Right? It's not about the music, ladies and gentlemen. That's coming from people who can't let go of their past. It's about saving souls, not burning them. Hmm? It's time to put this childish nonsense to bed. Let it sleep. And our Heavenly Father will take care of the rest. Hmm? If everything I have shown you in this video isn't enough to make you see that the world of heavy metal is nothing more than a satanic lie, then you truly are asleep. And I pray that your eyes open sooner rather than later. Make your choice now. For tomorrow may be far too late. Do you see what I did there? <laughs> All right. You take care, ladies and gentlemen. I will take on the world of heavy metal soon enough. You keep your glasses on. And don't fall asleep.